Okay, uh, I'm from uh, northern Manitoba, and um, uh, this is not the first time coming to a, uh, a gathering like this. Uh, I was in the one, I was the one in Winnipeg, but I was there for the full, full time, just there for a couple of days that I was in Winnipeg. You know, I had a lot of things to, uh, to do, and <coughs> And I'm here, and I'm listening to all these stories about uh, about the residential school, about those people that went to school. I am not a uh, I'm not a uh, a residential school survivor. I know I know of many people that have went to uh, residential school, and what impact is in their lives that the abuse that they went through and all, all the uh, all the trauma that they have in their in their lives you know it might be a good experience and also to uh, take back what i have learned here of how to heal when we go forward into into the, the future to help these people that are still hurting in the inside to start that healing process for those people that are still hurting and also you know having flashbacks of, of all the memories that they have from uh, residential school, <coughs> and besides, besides that, with, with the, when they're living here on Earth, you know they have a lot of problems, a lot of stress that come into come into uh, their lives about how to deal with stuff like this, and uh, the trauma that they receive from from the past it usually comes back to them and also haunts them that they that they don't have a really good direction where they want to go. That, because that, that, what they have, and what they see in the past, and what they are holding from the past, still lingers in their bodies, and also in their minds, and also in their hearts, and they have to get this out to start the healing process of what they are looking forward to, and also to help their children, and also their grandchildren, to understand how how these how these people were impacted all these people that were in residential schools how they were impacted and what what all the abuse that they went through and i think there's one one thing that we didn't look forward we didn't look at there are some people out there that learned that had a good experience with residential school with all the education they had they they, they they went through it and uh, they they got through it and they had a good education but it's not that's not that's not our problem the problem is the abuse that went through there the the residential school survivors that had a lot of trauma in their lives when they were young <clears throat> i see a lot of people in, that, in my community that they haven't faced there's one particular young man that they that uh, I was listening to <coughs> back home. There was one time, one of those teachers or one of those priests came in, and I was sitting with him at his house visiting him, and he, he, he heard, we heard about that him coming in into our community, and he said, "There, there, that guy whipped a lot of people." And I to ask him, "Why did you go and meet him?" He said no. He didn't want. He didn't even want anything, anything to do with that person. But he didn't learn how to forgive that time. But now that he has thought about it and gotten a little wiser, he had he had forgiven all all these things that all these things that happened to him in the past. And there, the healing process starts. And he's on a road to uh, healing. And I'm happy that he's taken that road. <clears throat> and I thank you for it.